Hi, I'm Nan Simonson, and if you've read my book, Aging Powerfully, you know I'm on a mission to create a movement, to encourage people to see that we can age powerfully into our 80s and 90s and beyond through lifestyle modifications. And by modification, I mean just look around you. Oh gosh, we in America are in pretty bad shape in that we are getting sicker by the year. Lifespan has gone down each year for the last three years. We don't have to do that. It's life. It's lifestyle that makes the difference. So when I talk about food, I talk about healthy food and the healthiest food that I have researched on the planet is plant-based foods. Doesn't mean you can't eat what you wanna eat. Just add some plant-based foods. I'm exclusively plant-based going on three years now and I've never been any healthier than I am right now. Uh, that was a badly put sentence. I've never been as healthy as I am right now. And I'm gonna show you one of the ways that I get my meat. Um, if you eat plants and you eat calories to maintain your weight at a healthy weight, you're going to get all the protein you need. But there are protein foods that we should add on a regular basis, like the beans and the grains and the seeds and the nuts. Um, there's protein in broccoli and in every green that we eat. So we're gonna get what we need but there are some that just have more. For example, tofu. And today we're going to make a tofu salad, actually like an egg salad, but tofu. I haven't had an egg in, gosh, more than two years. So we start with, I always start with organic tofu. The reason being that tofu is a genetically modified crop as is corn, which means that they can spray it, do an overspray with a desiccant and an herbicide and all those things totally disrupt our gut, uh, the microbiome, and that will totally disrupt our health. So I like this brand. It's also really inexpensive at Costco if you shop at Costco because you buy a, a package of, I think it's four, maybe six of them, and the price is almost half of what you'll buy it for individually, but either way, tofu's inexpensive. And what I do, because you wanna drain it, is that I take a knife, cut the sides, leaving the corners intact, turn it upside down in my sink, and I just press hard right on the middle, and it helps drain it. Now this is only partially drained. You can see I'm like, I'm squeezing it, kind of like a sponge. And I'm getting the extra moisture out because I'm gonna make an egg salad that's going to have moisture added by other ingredients. And the flavor of tofu is rather mm, benign. It just takes, the point is it takes on the flavors of the things that you put in it. And you can see I've sort of broken it up here, which is just fine. Turn it out. And now I'm going to mash it with a potato masher. I happen to like this one. I just did a video on my favorite mashed potatoes, which are fabulous and are made with a couple of pounds of Yukon potatoes, a pound and a half of cauliflower, some garlic, and um, cashews. So look for my video and the recipe. It's wonderful. You can fill up on what we call comfort food, stay slim and stay healthy. So I've just mashed that up lightly because I'm going to add other things and that's going to mash it up even some more. And I've done all the cutting here, so this isn't going to be as much of a cooking class for you, but cut up. I, oh my gosh, my cat's going to cry at us, but we have to we have to power through because I'm getting this thing done. I'm not starting again. So this is three stalks of celery. I cut them in half. And then on the cutting board, I just cut through the half lengths and then chopped them. And it came out in a nice dice. So I'm adding the celery. And you're going to also find the recipe for this on nansimmonson.com under recipes. And this is called tofu curry salad. It's a recipe that I got from Forks Over Knives. No, no, from the Culinary Gym. 
and it's by um, Christina Miller. Um, I cook all the time and I make up my own stuff, but I don't create recipes. So I'll try other people's and then make amendments and make alterations. But this I'm taking right from her recipe. And then I have, actually it called for a cup, uh, one bell pepper. Well, this is half of this gorgeous bell pepper. And I like red better than green. I like the slight sweetness of it. I think it's richer flavored. And so I only used half of that. And that same thing, I diced that into, put it into slices and then diced them. The recipe called for a cup of frozen peas, green peas, and I didn't have a whole cup. My bag was empty at about, I don't know, halfway, well, halfway up the one cup measure. So in other words, I have here what I found in my freezer and that is uh, 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 anamami. So I have half anamami, half peas. You could do it any way you want. Um, corn might even be interesting in here instead. I also have a quarter of a red onion. That's probably a generous quarter and a big fat red onion. And stop it. Red onion has even more nutrition than a white onion. So I use them when I can. I don't want them to color the dish, for example, if I'm doing something that I want to stay sort of a white sauce. Oh, cat. All right. Then we're adding to this. I'm going to turn it around. We're adding to this. Oh, this is looking great. And you see, as I'm doing it, I'm breaking up the tofu. Tofu is a as complete a protein as you can get in the plant world, and it is a complete protein. All plants ultimately will bind to create a complete protein in our body, even if one plant is a little weaker in it than another. That is gorgeous. And every color of the rainbow that you eat feeds your microbiome, your gut, that part of you that um, through the short chain of uh, fatty acids that are uh, produced by the, um, all those gut bugs, um, they affect us throughout our body, including our brain, including our neurotransmitters. They truly do. That microbiome truly does affect us in every way imaginable, including our immune system. And, uh, this is, what, February, day before Valentine's Day 2021, and so we're still dealing with COVID, and people want a good, strong immune system. We're adding to that nutritional yeast. And nutritional yeast, you buy in a bag. It smells a little cheesy. It's a great um, vitamin enhancer, protein enhancer, and it adds umami. It adds a, a richness to things that, um, and it actually can make a, a, a sauce taste cheesy. It adds uh, flavor things that you wouldn't get in many other ways. So I've just added the nourishment of nutritional yeast. I'm adding as well curry powder and lemon juice. I have my own Meyer lemon tree and so I squeeze my juice and it calls for three to four tablespoons of the lemon juice. I'm gonna use a little less and just make sure I like what I've got. I also am adding to this um, apple cider vinegar and yellow mustard. All right, so lots of really rich flavors. And this is the yellow mustard I used, apple cider vinegar. I usually go with Brabs, unfiltered and raw. What you find down on the bottom of this is kind of this fibrous brown, I'm gonna call it sludge. It's called the mother. And what that means is that it's a living uh, probiotic. It's a great um, addition to your diet and to put apple cider vinegar in salad dressings. I don't use oil. Um, I eat fat, meaning I'll eat a nut butter, I'll eat tahini, but I don't use exogenous oils. I eat food that is as close to nature as possible and that is a processed food. So, and a very high calorie food. So I just don't um, add oil to things, but I absolutely, will add uh, whole foods that are 
filling and have a higher fat profile. Uh, profile. All right, even soy. Soy has a higher fat profile, uh, profile than most beans. Okay, and then a half a cup of halved uh, grapes, recipe called for halved. I cut them into quarters because they were nice, big, fat grapes. Look at that, aren't they beautiful? Okay, and I'm gonna taste it and see if I wanna add that little bit more of lemon. I almost always go for more lemon because I adore lemon. Uh, the, the, um, that little bit of acid, the additional vitamin C, that additional vitamin C, putting lemon on greens, for example, actually makes the, ca the calcium in the greens more bi bio available. So I'm going to taste this see what I think. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. I will put a little more of the lemon. That's wonderful. Very curry-ish. Very nice. Oh, and I also added some coconut aminos, and that's what this looks like. Coconut aminos are a... They're similar to a soy sauce, uh, a, a little bit um, sweeter and uh, not that they add sugar, there isn't sugar in it. And they, they fill in where you would use soy sauce. I use both, I use tamari because it's a gluten-free soy sauce. And I like coconut aminos as well to kind of kick up flavor. Actually, I think I want a little more in here. So I'm gonna add a little more sort of balance out the, the strength of that, um, of the curry powder. And that's that. Any changes I make, you'll see from what I'm doing now, you'll see in the recipe. And so I'm gonna spoon this, this is gonna be lunch, on a bed of lettuce. Now I eat way more than this, but this will show you what it looks like if I was serving a side salad. Enjoy, the cat said the same thing. <laughs> Please share the video. Please tell people about um, our mission and our belief that if you take care of your body with good, clean, healthy, whole food, plant-based nourishment, it's gonna serve you well. Take care, bye-bye.